How's it going guys? So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the uh, the mice feet, those Teflon coated feet on the Razer, um, I believe this is the ultimate gaming mouse. Okay, so uh, if you look closely, I have owned this mouse for like a little more than a year and under daily use. So it's pretty well used. And as you can see, I'm left handed. So the button is pretty much worn out you know, all the way to the bottom of the plastic. And even the rubber piece has shown some sign of use. So I pretty much use this mouse every day for over four to five hours daily. And if you look at the bottom, again, this area has worn out almost completely. Why? Because this Teflon coated feet is being used quite heavily. And uh, now it's, you know, it's pretty much gone. It's flat to the surface of the plastic. So when that happens and you see it starts to get wear around this area, um, your mouse is not going to perform the best. So it's time to replace all those feet um, on the bottom of your mouse. So this one is the Razer, again, um, Viper Ultimate, but it could apply to any other mouse. You know, when, when you have wear on the bottom, it's time to replace. Okay, so I went on Amazon. I just bought one of those generic, you know, PTFE coated or Teflon coated, uh, you know, mouse feet replacement. And uh, it's pretty simple. It comes in a set, a full set of, you know, already pre-cut mouse feet that you can use. And also comes with a alcohol wipe, you know, always uh, good to have your own extra alcohol wipes for replacing the feet because you're gonna, what you're gonna do pretty much is just pry those old feet off and then Put the new feet on carefully right so what i'm using is just a um, exacto knife again i'm just going to dig in here and you can even use your hand you know if you like uh really there isn't any like particular special way of doing this you just need to make sure that the all those old glue gunk whatever is completely removed so when you put the new one on um, it's it's gonna stick to the bottom and doesn't fall off. Okay, so let's see what the old one is gonna do. Yeah, so it's pretty much like very easy to do, and this one is already super super thin. Okay, totally worn out almost. Um, we're gonna do the rest, and then we're gonna just clean the area free of oil and grease and leftover gunks. You want to make sure this area is as clean as possible, and we have quite a few to do. Okay, again, exacto knife is usually the best way for the initial, you know, prying. And it's very easy once you get the, the first part pried, you can just pop everything open and lift everything up. Okay, the good thing is the old glue doesn't really stick to the bottom, so it's quite easy to clean. And now we're gonna do this part as well. This is the area that's affected the most under my heavy use. So again, all I'm doing is just trying to lift all parts of this um, old Teflon up so we can replace it with a new one. And it looks like this one is going to get lift up as well. All right. So pretty easy, right? Nothing fancy to it. And once we're done with this part, we clean it before we put the new one in. Always clean before you put the new one in, okay? And this is also a good time if you need to service the mouse, um, you need new feet because once you lift this up, you can't reuse the old one. So all the screws are hidden under the feet. So this is a good time to also get replacement. And again, I got those replacement for like under less than 10 bucks. And I absolutely love this mouse. So I'm gonna use it till the sensor itself breaks. Uh, which I don't foresee anytime soon. So again, great mouse. Um, yes, so everything got lifted up. Now we use the alcohol wipes to just clean the area. Again, extra wipes are always welcomed because if your mouse is really dirty, like for example, mine is, uh, you want to use more to make sure every old gunk is lift off. And for now, it's doing a pretty good job of lifting off all the old gunks. And again, the sensor area. 
And we're gonna do it one more time using some additional alcohol wipes. This is 70% uh, alcohol, by the way. Okay. Also a good time to just do a general clean, I guess. Now it's probably pretty dirty from my daily use. Yep, as you can see, I might even do it one more pass and then we'll go ahead and um, have those new feet installed and we're gonna test it um, and see how it feels. So three times. Getting the gunks removed completely is important. All right, and again, a general around, mouse clean. Start with a fresh mouse. All right. So when those are dried, you know, you're pretty much ready to uh, apply the new feet. And again, those are generic ones, very affordable. I'll post the link on where I got mine. So if you have the need, uh, go do that. And also make sure your hand is, um, use your alcohol to clean your hand as well. So your hand is also grease free. So if you need to reapply, you can lift it up and reapply, but it looks like it's, you know, pretty easy. Um, they have everything pretty much laid out for you. So you're just gonna al align those areas and drop your feet there very carefully. Let's see, oh, I think this one is for here. And make sure it's well aligned. So you look under the light and you see the groove and you just push it in here and they should stay. Wow, this one is so much thicker compared to the old one. So that's great because it keeps that required distance between the, the sensor and the surface, and it's gonna optimize the movement. All right, so just try to align the direction and then drop it in here and do some slight adjustments just to make sure everything fits in there. And you press it down and two down. Wow, this looks so much better. All right, so now we do the medium sensor part. And interestingly, they didn't cut this well. So I have to lift this first. Um, I don't know where this one go, but I guess you could put it somewhere here to provide additional support. Let's see if I could put it here. Yeah, just for fun. Um, not sure if it's gonna charge. If it affects charging, I'm gonna remove it, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have the same thing. And again, I guess it's kinda important to figure out which one is which first. All right, so I'm gonna put this one in here. Again, align, drop in, and make sure it's in the groove. So this one is pretty nicely cut. It's uh, quite precisionally cut. So there are no weird spots. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. And this one as well. And when, you, when you finish doing the first one, the rest is gonna be like super fast, right? Because it's all same procedure. You just apply the same thing. And we have the last one, which is the sensor. The sensor, I guess we have to be kind of careful because there are two sides. This one is more curved. And this one is more rigid. So just make sure direction's right. And you're gonna align everything and put it in here. Let's see. So, like so. All right. Yep, so this one is definitely going to provide some additional support. And if I look from the side, or like even if I just feel it, there is a significant difference between the old worn out one and the new one. This new one also I can feel a groove over here that's elevated. So yes, everything's working and I don't think I need this one. So I'm just gonna pry it up, see how easy it is. Yep, very easy to lift it up. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to um, replace the feet on the Razer Viper Ultimate.
So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe. And of course, uh, from my previous video tips, you always want to open this area and get all the hairs out because that affects sensor performance as well. So there's always going to be hair hidden there. Uh, periodically open it up and clean it. And that's it. Uh, even though it's worn, it still, you know, performs perfect. And the battery life is still great. So I'm going to use it until the day it breaks. All right. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.